Yo dudes, we've got a brand new sponsor for today's video, Tayrock Watches, and you can check out their link down below in the description. It's crazy because I actually own one of these watches myself, so when they hit me up, I knew I had to do something with them. Basically, check it out now. They're doing a big 50% off Black Friday sale, and if you use code TILS down below, you get yourself an additional 10% discount. So go and check that out, guys. Should be right at the top down there, and make sure you get something just in time for Christmas. Hello my friends, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to the start of a new solo survival series and as you can see top left, the, all the cool signs, all the markings, we are on an official server this way. I've been hearing really good things about official servers, essentially I'm jumping in, for me it's a Thursday night, it's a classic wipe day scenario, however this server obviously being a monthly wipe sort of jazz hasn't wiped so I'm hoping we could maybe find ourselves a decayed base to live in, I'm, I don't really want to have to maybe craft myself like a workbench, maybe we can find a base to do that. That would be really, really nice. Plus there's loads and loads of shops on this server, so maybe we could even buy something. So I'm gonna get this stuff recycled, I'm gonna try and get myself a bow together. That's gonna be the big thing right now. Um, do I wanna, yeah, we'll recycle the pipes, I don't need them right now. Um, I'm gonna grab all of this stuff and we'll move on and try and find somewhere to live. If we can take over a decayed base, a raided base, somewhere like that, that would be sick. And as always guys, please do not forget to leave a like for the hype of a new series, you guys always smash it. We're back to playing solo, it's been a couple of weeks, I can't wait to get back into this. I also ran a poll on YouTube recently, asking you guys what you wanted to see, and basically what we're going to be hitting up, I see mushrooms over there, we're going to go get those. We're going to be hitting up shops, we're going to be hitting up raids, we're going to be hitting up the cargo ship, we're going to be building a huge, huge base. We're going to be doing everything this way, I can't wait, and if you guys are looking forward to that, I really would appreciate it. If you could leave a like, and if you don't enjoy it, just leave a dislike or a comment down below. Please do let me know what you guys are thinking. Massive, massive props to you guys. I thank you so much for your comments. Keep them coming, keep them rolling in. And yeah, let me try and get a weapon together. Some tools, perhaps. Maybe move sort of more central into the map, and we'll try and build ourselves our empire. God, it feels good to be back solo. I must admit, it is it's hard, but I just love it so much. There is just constant raids. It just They just don't stop. They are everywhere right now. My god, okay. I'm sort of trying to find a route that avoids them, but they're either side of me. Just trying to get enough cloth together. This might do us, actually. What's this base? It's got a door around the back. Out of action. No, it's just a little bit of an oil refinery. That's strange. don't know what is going on up here, though. He's asleep inside. Workbench. bench. Okay. I suppose I could use this if I wanted. He has got a TC in there, right? Yeah, he does. Damn it. Yeah, we are obviously back to playing vanilla this week when we were playing modded for the last couple of weeks, which is kind of out of my comfort zone, but hopefully you guys did, didn't, didn't hate it too much. Didn't seem to. You guys seem to really support me on that, so thank you for that. I just wanted to tell you that. Obviously, there's no group limit on this server with it being official, so... Me as a little solo player has my work cut out for me here. Ah, oh, there's a dude. <laughs> Fucking great. I didn't even see this body. What are they shooting? Fucking the Joker using his AK from four miles away. Bollocks. I didn't even see that body in the water there. I was just trying to find that base for like its decayed loots. Just trying to get on the roof, see if I could get that TC. Bollocks, man. Right, okay, that's the problem with these wipes, right? Obviously, the issue is going to be that everyone has been playing on here for... They've had, I think... I don't really even know when the last wipe was on here. These thing with these official servers, they just sort of re keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. So, basically, everybody could be so geared, and I'm just starting out. But I want to find that base with a workbench in. Oh, God, I had scrap, man. Where am I now? Oh god, I think I died, I died like right here. Yeah, I am fucking far, man. We could maybe make our way down there, but they'll have like, scrupled up that loot. Oh, this guy's gonna fuck me up. Hey, how you going? Oh, I've only just spawned, dude. So, yeah. No, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill you. Did you just fall a tree? Yeah. Run, okay. run forward, I have this cool animation. What do you mean? Run forward. Hey, that was, that was close, that was good. I've got 100 wood on me, do you want it? Instead of wasting yeah, your bullets? Yeah. Alright, cool. I actually spawned pretty close to the place I died a second ago with all that loot on me, so I'm just gonna go squanch that a little. They took everything. Everything! Like... Hey. 
Ooh, that's a satchel raid going off just down there. I just caught this out the corner of my eye, but what's... There's a rad suit sleeper. He's got fucking nothing, but I'll take it all day long. Sorry, butthole. And I'm being MP5'd, I think. You go it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. And now I'm dead. How do we go again? What is going on here, then? Yes, I will take a salvage cleaver. Why not? It's just straight up a whole mess of barrels and stuff on this road, and it's so silly to get them, but I'm going to grab them anyway, because I'm a fool, and I'm a, I'm a maverick, and I live on the edge of life, okay? some wood. I'm just going to build up here, I think, because we're going to have to use the junkyard as our nearest, like, place. I don't know if I like that. We'll see. I was going to go there to recycle now, but as you can see, there's a bloody balloon in there for some reason. Oh, I shouldn't be doing this right now. There's probably turrets in here. I can use the furnaces. That would be nice. A level 3 bench. Wow, this is all about to decay, but that is on nothing. Let's see if I can get building proof in here, I doubt it though. Oh yes baby, that'll do me fine. Get me some metal frags on board. Um, I don't know what else to chuck out right now. I really don't, this is a really really fucking hard thing to do, I'm just too stacked with goodies. I'm sorry if this is turning into a bit of a longer episode guys than, than normal before we've built our base, but I'm being, I don't know why, I'm being so indecisive. I think it's because this is the first time I've played solo in a while and it's just, it's really getting to me. I'm like, I, I want to get the perfect base location because, like I say, I want to get a really long, tasty... I see a naked asleep on there. He can't have anything, right? I want to get a nice, long, decent, juicy wipe for you guys. But I can only do that if I build in the right location and I maximize as much stuff as I can get. So that means if I, can, if I don't have to craft a workbench and I can find a base with one, I will do because that is just... 100% more beneficial to me, and if I, I, I need to build somewhere with cloth, because I don't know about you guys, but I always find that cloth is one of the most important resources in Rust. I don't totally hate this location here, right next to launch, though. That could be that could be a tricky issue, but I think I've just about got enough cloth now for a bag, so I'm gonna lay one down. I'm gonna try and get a little base up. Yeah, this is this is this is where we're gonna start. This is where we're gonna build our empire from, my friends. Smelt my crude here. That could be good, to be fair. <clears throat> Come to Poppy. This base looks like it might have decayed then. I thought it had actually been raided when I first saw it. I'm, uh, I don't want to waste my tools really. Wait, is there... There's no build proof as well. Sick, okay. Empty. Stunning. Maybe this is... Uh... Oh, actually, hold on. Maybe it, has to... Maybe it hasn't decayed and it has been raided. Is this base? <gasps> no, dude, no. That is the fucking cover we needed, boys. Oh my god. Oh my god, right now. Um. Okay. Okay. And there's a level two bench here. All right. Back to base right now. Back to base. Is there any bullets? There's some bullets, there's some bullets, there's some bullets, okay. Okay, okay. Buzzing. Buzzing. Let's get this shit back to base. I love finding decayed bases, boys. What a start this has turned out to be, right? So we had a really tough beginning. Getting that base down took uh, a little over an hour, but this base right next to us has just come in clutch. To be honest, I'm really tempted to not... Fuck am I right now? 
Yeah, my base is over here. Um, I'm really tempted to actually try and build into that base or like use it as my own because it's got a level two bench in there. Ah, that, it's worth, I think, maybe. We need to explore it a little further. Where's my base? Here she is, here she is, here she is. Dump these and I'm gonna head back out. Oh my God, lads, let's go. All right, let's head on straight back there. I can't even remember whereabouts I ran to get that. Okay, so if there's anything else left in there, it's just... I keep thinking I hear things. It's just absolute profit right now. Here she is, here she is, here she is. Oh my god, I'm buzzing, guys. I can't even tell you right now. Those guns give us such a good setup for the wife. If there's anything else in here, we are so, so good. To be honest, yeah, I think I'm going to take this. Ah, oh, we need to check it, but I think it's worth. Right, let's just destroy this first. I doubt there's anything in here like the other box, but if there is, then it's just profit, right? No, nothing. Bollocks, man, why? There is more to this base, 100%. Unless there's a gap in the other side. I need to wait. Oh, there isn't. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. We're getting there. Things are looking very good, I must admit. Very good. What we got? A little bit more to do. To be honest, if I fancied, I bet I could do it in metal. Yeah, sh shall I? This is a bad choice. I might do that roof in metal. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm feeling good about this wipe so far. We just need a couple bit more stone. We're going to need an airlock on this puppy, but other than that, we're fine. I'm going to head out a little bit further afield in search of nodes, see if we can find any more decayed bases, anything like that, really, but... Okay, got... Ooh, there's a raid going down again, really close. I've got the furnaces up, which is pretty darn nice. I think what I'm going to do is probably go and try and grind myself some scrap, though, right now. Just so that I can get this. I don't know. I don't know whether I want to get. The, I definitely want the level one bench, but I think what's probably best on a server like this is I chuck all my scrap into learning blueprints right now. So if I could get the pickaxe and the pipe, I think that would be very, very helpful for me. Uh, yeah, I definitely think that would be worthwhile. I'm actually even gonna just stick this here because I keep I'm feeling really conscious about door campers right now. Right, let's get this stuff recycled and get on home. God, that is not, I tell you what, a bad haul. 20 sewing kits as well. The rope that's going to give us if we can get that home will be juicy. I just want to take a second to talk about how stupidly big these bases are, man. Like, wow. G flipping G, man. Wow. Okay. Just been grabbing a little bit of a farm on because I want to get this base nice and big. So I'm just right now going to have to go farm a load of wood. But yeah, things are looking good. Things are looking very good. We are pretty damn well set up around here. I actually really, really like this area as well. And as a question to you guys, I am going to ask it on YouTube, I think, like before this video goes live. So you've probably already answered it. But do you guys like longer episodes with a little bit less of like content intensive in terms of like pvp constant pvp battling etc etc a little bit more of the farm a little bit more of the grind a little bit more of me talking at you i've asked this so many times and so many different answers come in and to be honest my views recently on my videos have been going a little bit lower than i would have wanted for the sort of content that i think it is so i want to make sure that i'm bringing you guys exactly what you want to see so please 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 do let me know in the comments, do you prefer longer videos, do you prefer shorter ones, do you want 11, 12 minutes of constant, or do you want 16, 17, 20, 24 minutes of a little bit of a slower pace but me talking at you guys? Please, please, please do let me know, because honestly, obviously it's all down to you guys. Okay, let's go. Just get... A little bit of a renovation going, just so we've got a little bit more space to play with here. So we've got a little bit more room for activities, because right now, everything is stocked away in that 2 by one which I'm happy with and everything, but we've got to make sure that we've got enough room for a workbench. I think I am going to just craft the level 1. Although, we are crushing it. I, I want to go look for some PvP, because this area, while we're right in the freaking middle of the map, seems really quiet, and I think that's because there are so many clans around here. So the, the little guy doesn't want to build here, which I completely get. I completely get that, but I want to get a level, uh, at least a level one bench there, to be honest. How much scrap have I got right now? 
must be coming up to 200 yeah to over 200 scrap we have so many like fuses to recycle and we can need i don't, I, I need to th throw my stuff into like learning the hat the pickaxe the water pipe the pistol bullet the revolver that's what i think is more important so i'm gonna get the level one bench and just use the decayed bases level twos and threes around me for the short term anyway for the short term but right now i'm gonna get this extra extra airlock on and i think go out in search of pvp that's my next goal we need to honeycomb all around this we're gonna get raided if we don't unless i metal it yeah we'll see we'll see i'm gonna go out looking for some pvp now though I keep doing this man, I keep forgetting to go and check the decayed bases that I find. This one that we looted for all those guns earlier might, might have actually decayed through that wall now. And if it hasn't, it could be worth just picking through with like bone clubs or something. There's a level 3 bench in here man. Nothing in it though, unfortunately, but there is a level 3 bench. Still 189, okay. And still 190. I think there's gotta be something behind there. I don't see how, because there doesn't seem to be an entry point, if that makes sense, but there's gotta be something behind it, boys. I'm, I'm tempted to learn the pickaxe purely and simply for the fact that I wanna know what's behind there. Just caught a little glimpse of this sleeping man at the top there. No, this has already been gotten, right? He's official service. He's got clothes on. Oh, mad for decay bases, though. Oh my god, it hasn't. Oh my god. I need to get up there. Oh my god, this GP. Oh my god, this GP. Um... possible to tell if it's got anything in it oh no that is a really really close custom SMG and I'm right up from this huge base I don't know if there's anything in it neither do I care right now come on just fucking go cool now he's got it all. That's the problem with a fucking AK guy coming. I've got to go back. I was I was trying to pull the fucking uh, double barrel down. I've got to go back. Oh. You know, every time you find something good, somebody's going to come and cuck you. Do I take the P2 with 10 bullets in it? I've got to. I've got to. Oh, that was everything I had right there. I can't compete with a fucking AK though. He's going to take everything. Like, well, all the good stuff anyway. The GP, etc. Oh, we've got to go back. Oh, that is the most annoying thing. I knew it was going to happen. I should have just tried to loot everything. I heard him. Fuck. Oh, well. I mean, easy come, easy go, I guess. But at the same time, that is still so, so annoying. I think he was high call, high call gear as well. Wow. Let me just see if I can get back there. Maybe he's left something. Maybe he's solo. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? We just need to get back. I can see him up there. Looting it. Right as we speak. Oh, I'm not going to be able to creep up. It's so open up there. Damn, man. Ah, oh, Ripperonis. That's an AK, though, as well. Don't know why I'm, what I'm going to fucking do with a 10 pistol shots and a bow. I'm probably better to wait till he leaves. That is, uh, I'd love to try and make a play, but he's going. Oh, he's got a friend. Good thing we didn't try and make a play. Off you, off you, off you, toddle. There might even be three of them. Yeah, there is three of them. One man's crap is another man's incredible loot. We'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. Not a bad haul, to be honest. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ, that scared me. Okay. Well, basically, we're just out here right now to basically pick through this. I don't, I, there was nothing in this room. 
unfortunately. As much as I freaking wish there was. I don't see how they get access to this room back here. It's not honeycomb though. It's not honeycomb. What is it? 184. So what am I going to need? Like three pickaxes? And that's if no one turns up and kills me in the interim. So I guess if anybody turns up, I'll, I'll, I'll be back with you. If they don't, I'll be back with you in like four or five pickaxes time. I'm going to have to go far more wood. God, cry out loud, man. Actually, if I get through that one, what's that one on? 185, what's this one on? Like 170, yeah, we'll just go through this bat one. I don't see if there will be anything in here, but if there is, then we're golden, right? Alright, one more pickaxe is going to do this, I think. Someone here. The same guy? Yeah, cool. Alright. Almost through. Yeah, but those gates. Weird option. Going pitch black now, which is not ideal. And I, I haven't brought anything in way of a torch. Actually, he has one, doesn't he? You little ripper. You absolute legend. Okay, if there's nothing behind here, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really fussy. I mean, it was three pickaxes, but... That being said, if there is something behind here, it's been 100% worth it. Come on, Rust Gods, shine down on me this day. Show me one or two boxes, just give me a furnace, anything, any little bit of loot you wanted to whisper dough upon me today. Come on. It's fucking Daddy Go! <laughs> oh, ripperonies, man. I picked through the, war the wrong one. Hopefully, we can. There's something in behind here. If there's not, no biggie, I guess. No, man. No. Rip. Oh my god, there's fucking shotgun turrets up there. Rip. Okay. I mean, we got in. We saw what was in here. To be honest, do I want to take this base over? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Behind that door, I know there's a level 3 fucking bench. Oh, fudge him, you know? There's nothing behind there, right? Yeah, someone's raided this puppy. Rated it good as well. Wow, okay. No big deal. We're out. And yeah, guys, I think that is the perfect place to call today's episode to an end. I know we had a pretty tricky first sort of start to the episode, but then after finding that decayed base, after kicking on, after building our base, we are stacked with loot right now. And it cannot have gone better, to be honest, in my opinion. I mean, that decayed base earlier where we got killed by the AK guy, yeah, it would have been nice if we got that loot. Yeah, it would, but you can't win them all, right? You can't win them all. So I'm going to pick this hemp, help myself back into my base. I'll probably, before I go offline, actually, I want to make sure I recycle everything because I want to be able to learn everything in case we get raided. We've then got, like, the revolver blueprint learned. Say, I've got so many fuses. I'm just going to take all of them. If they're 15 each, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, there's at least 150 scrap there. So we've got to recycle them plus extra. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a like. And if you didn't, leave a dislike. Why not? Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video and what you'd want to see from this wipe. Please, please, please do let me know. I'm going to secure the base so we don't get raided. If we do, it's no big deal because obviously we've already got the pickaxe blueprint. If we can find anything else, it's all just gravy for us right now. I don't get why I can't jump onto this box half the time and then sometimes I can. Anyway, who, I guess who cares because uh, there we go, just do that. So the guys, thank you very much for watching. I've been Tools, you've been your incredible, incredible selves. Make sure you have notifications ticked so you look out for the next episode. I want to get some raids done, whether they be early game raids with these flamethrowers or we can maybe progress, use a shot perhaps, maybe bargain for a satchel and a bean can. Maybe we can try and progress to rockets on this server too. That would be glorious. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one in a couple of days time. Peace. Oh.